Medical officials in Libya say the toll from a twin car bombing in Benghazi rose to 35 on Wednesday with about 60 people wounded. The first blast on Tuesday evening hit worshippers living in a mosque in Benghazi's central Asamani district. About 15 minutes later, the second blast inflicted a large number of casualties among people who had gathered at the scene. The first explosion was from a car in front of the mosque, and when we came out of our prayers, the injuries were minimal, only three people, I believe. After people had gathered around the area, the second explosion came from another car parked in front of the mosque from a different side, so it was much stronger than the first one. It's as if they were waiting for the people to gather to carry out the explosion. Senior security officials were among the casualties. The toll was one of the highest from a single attack since Libya slid into turmoil after the uprising that toppled Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Benghazi is controlled by the Libyan National Army, which is led by powerful Eastern-based commander Khalifa Haftar and was battling Islamists and other opponents in the poor city until late last year.